Hi all, so this is the 14th episode of Angular 20 tutorial. So we almost completed the basic topic plus API integration, template form and reactive form. So now it's a next topic that is pipe. So pipe is the easiest topic in Angular. So what are pipes? So pipes are nothing but a function which will help us to format the data before rendering. That is the simplest definition of the pipe. Whenever we have to show the data, Either it's uh, that data is coming from your API or from your variable, wherever you need to show that data, either in interpolation or in text box, before showing that data, we can format that data and then that data get rendered onto the HTML template. So that is nothing but the purpose of pipe, to format the data onto the template. So there are default pipes also, which already comes from the Angular and we can create our custom pipes also. Fine. Now what I have done, I have created a component. Okay, after creating the component, I have created the route also. After creating the route, I have added the link, is, link over here also. So now you can see our component is rendering on click of it. Now let's create some variable. We have to see some basic example also, like the default pipe, whatever we have. Sorry. So, sorry. Let's create some variable. Uh, first, like lowercase, uppercase, some basic pipe we will see. Let's say you have a course name variable and inside that we have angular value so we have this variable right let's create row column structure let's say original value i will showcase over here so first i will print the original value so means course name variable fine now one more p i will take after upper case Again, I will use the interpolation. Now, this variable holds the value angular, which is in small case. But let's say original value we don't want to change. But while displaying the value into the HTML, I want to make it to capitalize. So I can use the uppercase pipe. So, but before using the uppercase pipe, we need to import it. Uppercase pipe. Fine. Now I have imported it, so I can use it. So how do we use it? You use the pipe symbol and then your pipe uh, name uppercase see now what happens see this is the original value and after pipe you can see all the character from our val variable got capitalized right just like that we have lowercase also now let's create one more variable course duration let's say three So see, in this variable, M is capital, fine. Now if I use this, and we have to import it. Before, make sure like whenever we are using any pipe, we need to import it, then only we can use it. Lowercase, and then instead of upper, let's use lowercase. Let's say, see, M got small. If I make everything capital, all the character will get small. Sorry. See, got it? So uppercase, lowercase, title pipe, title pipe is also there. Again, let's say, um, I will say, month is three. Or let's say duration is three months, something proper. Something extra word I'm adding, okay? Now, the title case pipe is there so it will convert each word from our each first character from our word to the capital that is capital case so let's import it also capital sorry I forgot title title case pipe is there okay so that will be title case so see now Currently, this is our value, okay? But after pipe, you can see all the first word, C, I, M, D, all got capitalized. So these are your lowercase, uppercase, and the title case. Now, one more pipe is there that we mostly use, that is the date pipe. So I'm creating a variable, current date, date, sorry, is equal to new date, current date I'm storing. Let's create one more column. Fine, now here I will print the exact date. 
whatever the current value we get. Date is the mostly used pipe, okay? See, when we say date, we get so many information. Date also, time also, time zone also, everything we get. But let's say we don't want to show all this information. I just need to show the date. Fine. So we have a date pipe. Let's import date pipe. Then, see, we can add just the date pipe also. See what it does. See, when you add the just the date pipe, you just get the date from whole your date. You just got the date. Right? Again, we can format that also. By using the date pipe, you can pass the format also. Like dd hyphen mm hyphen yy yy. So d should d should be in small, y should be in small, m should be always in capital. Fine. So see now, this is with the default pipe. This is with the format what you said. Let's copy paste again. Instead of hyphen, you can pass any character. Slash also you can do. Instead of four y, you can pass the two y also. So last characters will only show. See. Instead of month, let's say you want the complete month name or three letter. So you can get MMM three times. So it will show the month name. If you need the whole month name, if you need the whole month name, you can type 4M, not 5 or not 6, just the 4M. See, it is it will print whole month name. So this is your date pipe. Again, you can extract the time and time zone and everything. Okay. So this is the mostly used pipe that we use, date pipe. Again, let's create an array. Let's say city or let's get roll number list number array. Let's say 111, 112, 113, 7. Fine. So we have a roll number list. Now in JavaScript, you might have know, you might have used the slice pipe. So just like that, we have a slice pipe also over here. So let's import that first. Slice pipe. Now, let's show the original data. So the roll number list is the original data. Now, let's say after slice. Let's say I need first two element only. So what I can do, slice, it needs parameter, let's say 0, 2, 2, sorry, colon. So now it it should give us 111 and 112. See, first two element. So slice needs parameter, starting point and the ending point. See, start and the end. Okay, if you don't specify the end, let's say if I say 2 only, so it will start from 2, but it will, it will get all the element because you didn't send the end. So it will get you all the element. Got it? So this is also slice pipe. Then mostly use pipe again, which is for our development purpose. Means while testing and development we do. Let's say you have an object. Any, let's say name. Mobile. Again, inside we have inner object, city, Pune, state, image. So we have this object. We have an object with some inner object also. Let's say I want to see what values you have. So what we normally do, we print the object with key value pair data, correct? But if we try to print the whole object directly, what do we get? Object, object. See? We are not able to see what data we have, but by using JSON pipe, we can print the whole object also. JSON pipe imported. So this is the original value. Whenever you are doing also practicing now, make sure you practice it properly. Make the UI also look pretty good now because as an Angular developer, you are the only one who is going to design the UI also. Most of the companies don't provide you the mockup also. Based on the object or the model you get, you have to design your mockup. So have a hands-on experience by designing UI also while learning. Okay. Now, 
again one more thing if you are new please do like and subscribe join the video description uh, whatsapp channel link you have found in the description i take so many live session you can connect with uh, directly also and don't forget to add the comment also fine so let's say i want to see what data i have okay so i can use the json type what it will does it will convert your object to the string and it will print it see this was the original but after json pipe you can see the data what properties you have and everything then you can it help us to debug we normally don't use the json pipe for our code it is just for us for the development at the point of development time only it is getting useful fine so these are the default pipes we have again we have currency and everything pipes are there, but these are the mostly used now these are the default pipes we have but we can create our custom pipes also there are so many requirements let's say you want uh, in your application you get first name middle name last name as a separate separate values in so many places but every time we have to show the full name right so you are not going to do uh, combine and then show it into variable instead of that you can create a pipe also to combine it and display another pipe uh, another kind of example will be na pipe let's say whenever you deal with the value and you print it you we want to add a null check like if value is not undefined then only you want to print it if it is null then only you want to print it if it is not empty then only you want to print it if it is empty null or something you want to print hyphen hyper or na that also you can do so let's create a custom pipe so these are the default pipe we have just like that we can create our custom pipe also fine let's quickly do that also so after component in app folder i'm creating a folder pipes okay now let's open a terminal now how do we create a pipe so again angular cli command is there ng generate pipe and a pipe i'm going to create it's a very basic example okay that generate full name is also very basic but little bit that it is it has some logic so i'm using this now this is what pipe look like pipe will have a transform function and this is the pipe decorator and this is your pipe name okay now here we have two parameter value and the argument we are not going to have the argument so simply a value we are going to have instead of unknown we will go with any just like any we have unknown data type also fine now we are trying to create a pipe which will check if the value is value is not null not undefined and not empty then only it will return the value otherwise it will return an a na or hyphen hyphen something so we have to write if value not equal to null sorry and value not equal to undefined and value not equal to empty fine so then we will return the value whatever the value we get we will return it as it is else if the value is null or undefined or empty what we will do we will return as a new string that is let's say na not available or hyphen hyphen anything you wish okay so currently we will return na so we have this simple logic okay there are so many different logic just like for creating full name or something i said right so as previously i told you like pipes are nothing but a function which will help you to format the data so see this is your pipe you are creating fine now let's say this pipe i want to use over here in my pipe example component now uh, inside this we have this object right so what i can do let's say wherever i am going to print the value after call for let's say name so student object dot name i will add the pipe as na so now you can see it is not coming see now in your pipe component you are trying to you uh, in pipe example component you are trying to create a you are trying to use a na pipe so you need to import it just like we have imported the default pipe just like that your pipe also you need to import na pipe see okay now it is useful name is there br then let's say we have pin code or let's say email now student object doesn't have any email property correct so student object dot email let's save it first 
So I have used NA pipe on the name, but if you check the student object, NA is there and with the value. Fine. And email doesn't have email. In student object, we don't have any property with the email. See the difference now. Wait, wait, wait. I think our logic got. What we said, value is not equal to null, value is not equal to undefined, and value is not equal to empty. Then only we are returning value, else we are returning. If it is not null, yeah, correct only, no? but why it is behaving? Okay, see, now it is printed in any. I think that space was there, right? But in case of email, it is not printing anything. See? This space is empty. Now user is user who is using this application won't be able to understand like what is happening. Nothing is showing. But we need to make our application readable and user friendly so that he can understand what is the value we got, value is there or not. So if value is not there, if I use the NA pipe over here also, now see NA got printed because now he will understand that value is not there. Okay, instead of showing that empty, now he know that value is not there because we have written the logic over here. If a value is not null, not undefined, then only we are showing the value. Otherwise, we, we are returning NA or hyphen hyphen also. Anything you like, right? According to the project we follow, sometimes we show NA, sometimes we show hyphen hyphen also, right? So this is what our logic is. Let's say one more. So in pipe example, let's make state also empty. Let's try to print this. because we have covered the empty value, empty check also. So if state is empty, there also we will get the NA, NA, C hyphen hyphen. So this is the example of your custom pipe, okay? So these are the default pipe we have and this is how we could create a custom pipe. Again, all our components stand standalone. So if you have to use this pipe in another component, you need to import it, then only you can use it, fine? So I hope you are able to understand what I'm explaining. Again, like basic topics are done, slowly moving. We are moving towards the advanced part. Fine. Those who are completing the tutorial daily, if you are looking for the task, right? So let me know. I have some tasks created for all the topic. Just ping me on WhatsApp or the LinkedIn. I will share it to you. Fine. Till then, please do like, subscribe and join my WhatsApp link also, which is mentioned in the group. That's it. Thank you, guys.